guys, it's Megan and today I am finally here to bring you my updated makeup collection and organization and storage and all of that good stuff and I have reorganized and maybe decluttered a few things since the last time I did a makeup collection video and it's just changed so much that I had to film another one um, and I recently got some new makeup drawers that I'm in love with. I can't recommend these drawers more and with the Sephora VIB sale and friends and family sale like currently slash coming up. Um, these are a great thing to pick up if you are looking for some new makeup storage. So ee, I'm so so excited and if you're excited to see my updated makeup collection be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and let's dive on into it. Alright you guys so I know this view isn't great because we're backlit but this is like an overview of my vanity. My curtains fell down and I still haven't addressed it so that's what that is um but we're gonna start over here on the left so all of the makeup drawers that i'm currently using are from sephora so basically there's a big mama drawer and then the drawers that i have here actually come with like one of these medium drawers and two of these small drawers like in one unit so each like row is a full unit that comes separately. And so if you buy two of these, you can set it up in the way that I have it. So that is like the main thing that I absolutely love is that you can mix and match the drawers. Um, so basically that's what I've done here. So I have these drawers and then we'll get to the ones over there. But this is all of my eye makeup and lip makeup and I have my brushes on top in the same um little spinny thing from Target and then I have my airbrush flawless setting spray also up there because it doesn't really fit anywhere else so oh my gosh I'm so excited you guys so we have everything laid out beautifully and this is just oh, I love it so much. Okay, so I have some of my like high end eyeshadow palettes and a um, single from Chanel. This is the Illusion Dombre in New Moon. I love this baby. I have a Chanel um, Quint, a NARS Duo, which is one of my favorites ever in Kawaii. It is so beautiful. I love it. And then I don't even know if I've ever shown you guys this, but I did get the Byredo Corporate Colors Palette. Um, I bought it for myself for my birthday and I haven't used it a ton, but I really, really do love this color scheme and I can't wait to use it more in the fall, but it just looks like a gold like pebble or like rock. It's so cool and it just fits perfectly in this small drawer. So I have a few palettes up here. Then I have some singles and uh, my Danessa Myricks cream shadows an elf quad and yeah mostly just other single um, eyeshadows from MAC and I only have one ColourPop shadow left which is telepathy which of course is discontinued makeup brands just love to discontinue everything i love so <laughs> that is my kind of single drawer and then in this drawer i have eyeliners and some like cream shadow sticks so i have a kvd vegan beauty dazzle stick some mini um laura mercier shadow sticks lots of marc jacobs eyeliners and yeah so just a mishmash of different things there in addition to my pencil sharpener which is so old but it's so good this is the urban decay grindhouse pencil sharpener which they still sell but it looks very different than this but mine still works like a champ so i just have my really old one then we have lip gloss and liquid lipstick so in here we have what I tried to be like I would prefer if it was only one layer but right now I just have a few too many so I mostly have MAC lip glasses I think they're just amazing especially for the price I have some um, liquid lipstick some Bobbi Brown lip gloss and then I have a Chanel 
double-ended like liquid lipstick, which is amazing. Oh, I can't wait to wear this. Gingerbread girl liquid lipstick from Too Faced. It's so, so drying, but it's so pretty and it just smells amazing. Um, but yeah, so I have like liquid lipsticks and lip gloss in there. And then under this, I love how this looks. So um, this drawer, you can have most lipsticks standing upright, but I don't really have that many lipsticks anymore. So it looks like, wow, it's going to be like a full drawer of lipsticks, but it's actually just like that little front bit. And then I have my lip liners and like lip pencils, like just kind of thrown in there because that's how it fit the best. So I have all my MAC lipsticks on the left, like going vertically. And then I have my Charlotte Tilbury, my one Tom Ford and my L'Oreal. And then I have this fresh sugar velvet, which is so, so pretty, like a berry color. And then, like I said, I have a lot of these, like, just kind of loose in there. And then this is a Guerlain Rouge G lipstick that it's, like, rounded, so it doesn't stand up, but it just fits nicely in there. And then this last drawer, I have my palettes, like, the majority of my palettes. Um, so I have the Tom Ford palettes down here because they're very heavy, and I liked how it looked, like, from the front. You can just see them. Um, like gold bars and one silver bar. <laughs> so I have four Tom Ford palettes. I have my two remaining ColourPop palettes, the Baroque and the Baby Yoda. Those are the only ColourPop palettes I kept. And then I have two Z palettes with um, JD Glow Cosmetics eyeshadows in here. So I have four in here and four in there. And then I have the uh, What's Up Beauty Desert Monsoon palette, which was recently sent to me. So I've been playing around with that. And then I have my Urban Decay Naked Honey palette, which I love during the fall. So um, this one, it's so hard to like store it because it's just like long and Thin and it's just kind of annoying but so basically everything has to be slightly angled for this all to work but it does work and then everything just fits perfectly in there and then I have my makeup bag like with my everyday stuff um, just in one of the drawers and the only things I have in here are like my mascaras eye primer um, let's see brow stuff I have in there um, I have my like NARS concealer my favorite Charlotte Tilbury glowgasm like blush and highlighter my Guerlain uh, meteorites powder and then the Natasha Denona glam palette so I could fit this in the bottom drawer but since I use it the most out of any of my palettes I just leave it in there oh my god I skipped a drawer oh, sorry you guys um this drawer has my MAC Dior and Pat McGrath uh palette so the back of the drawer is completely empty and then I just have these like kind of standing at an angle um so I have my three Dior quince i have two um mac palettes with single shadows and then i have the pat mcgrath interstellar icon quad and so the like the pat mcgrath doesn't stand vertically um it won't let the drawer close well, i guess it does but i don't know it just to me looks better when it's like that so um, that is that drawer. That's my makeup bag. And now let's go over to my other makeup drawers. And then over here on the right, I have all the rest of my face makeup. So again, I bought two sets of these drawers and put the medium sized drawers down at the bottom and all of the small drawers at the top. So that is my favorite way to do it. I love that you can see through it as well. Um, so on this first drawer, I have my highlighters. So I have my NARS, a Capri, which is basically donezo, but I do want to fully finish it up. 
I have my cover effects highlighter and then my Charlotte Tilbury uh, spotlight magic light wand or beauty light wand it is like magic though um, so those are the only highlighters I have then for bronzer I just recently got this Tom Ford um, compact from the cosmetic company outlet and this is gold dust and it is just beautiful beautiful packaging it's just divine and then I have a mini NARS Laguna which I've hit pan on as well and I definitely want to finish this up this year and then I have my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood um, film star bronze and glow which is like a um, contour powder and highlighter so that's really nice for traveling then I have some powder and then concealer so I have three concealers in here and then I have my NARS in my makeup bag and then I have my number seven powder which is like a pressed powder and then the hourglass uh, veil transparent finishing powder I really really love that stuff but haven't been using it much lately then this drawer has some blush so I have my Patrick Ta. This is the cream and powder blush duo in She's So LA, which is really beautiful for the summertime. Then I have a Clinique Heather Pop blush, the NARS um, Orgasm X. This is like a mini blush that I got for like my birthday gift from Ulta I think and then this is one of my all-time favorite beauty products I'm never gonna get rid of it even though it's really old this is the Estee Lauder Mad Men blush in light show it is exquisite packaging as you can see and just the perfect blush color um, and it's actual metal um, as opposed to pretty much anything else that I've seen with makeup like everything else is plastic including the Tom Ford like this this is all plastic even if it looks like metal and yeah same with the Charlotte Tilbury and everything but this baby is actual metal which I just think is so so cool okay then the rest of my blushes i have down here so i have four chanel blushes those are my favorite blushes i have my nars narcissist blush palette which is pretty much the ultimate blush palette like oh, it's just perfect so love that and then i have the nars orgasm liquid blush which is so pretty and this is like my favorite liquid blush other than the charlotte tilbury um this is a little less like glowy so i think that's just a really nice option and then i have all my chanel babies um and they all look the same so you kind of have to know like i know my collection but obviously the packaging looks the same so i have the pink tweed I have the new ombre like nude blush that's really nice and very unique to my collection this is rose bronze which I've used up an entire pan of rose bronze and this is my new one and then finally this is a really old blush in accent and if they ever came back with it I would just buy a new one and kind of retire this one but since they never have I still have that one and love it so those all fit perfectly in there and then my last drawer is like um face makeup so I don't really wear foundation anymore but I did keep my Estee Lauder double wear because this is perfect for special occasions or like photography and stuff I recently got this um, from Elemis that they sent me, so I want to test this out. It's the Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer, and it's like a squeezy tube, which I think is nice. I have a MAC press powder. This is the Mineralized Skin Finish, finish Natural in Light. And then I have my Bobbi Brown Vitamin and Rich Face Base and Eye Base, which I only use during like the colder weather. So I'm gonna have to break that out soon, but it's kind of just been on hold down there.
So that is my entire makeup collection that I currently have. I could not be happier with it. It is perfect for me. I feel like if I got rid of a few things, it would be fine, but I truly, truly love every single thing that I have kept, and I just want to use it up. Like, I'm sure I'll buy new things here and there, but this is already more than enough, um, and it will take me a long time to use up anything that I have, but... I don't know, I just love my collection currently and um, I would really encourage you guys, if you have like the itch to condense your collection, go for it. It just feels amazing and you'll just use and appreciate your stuff even more that you just love the most. Like get rid of the stuff you don't really like and just keep the things you love the most. That is how I feel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I don't think I'll be doing brutal declutters anytime soon, but you never know. So definitely stay tuned and let me know how you're doing and I'll see you very soon. Bye.